Well, hello, my YouTube fellows and gals. So today's Sunny Fun Time Mail is from Ghost in the Attic. I love her name. And actually, when I first started Whatnot and I saw that name, I thought, ooh, I get to join this channel and see what's going on. And I'm so glad I did. Melissa's such a sweetheart. And her husband, Todd. And they do such wonderful items. <sighs> they will even look for stuff for you. And all that good stuff. But then all whatnot people are so fun. But she was my very first purchase. So let's see. Oh, how cute. We have Huckleberry Hound mini card game and Piggy Bank mini card game. Adorable. And you definitely have to thoroughly search these boxes because sometimes there's little things hidden. Here is Country of a Dordian Lady. Definitely a popular book and one that you get. Very, very reasonable. Oh, how cute. I got a sucker. Oh, and it's got a kitty cat. So I got a sucker because it always sweet tooth in us. And then here is a gardener's journal. I think this is so pretty. I have a couple of these books that I'm saving for good. They're added to my library. So one day when they become rare and people can't find them, I'm going to have a copy. But this here was from the Smithsonian. And I thought this was really interesting. It looks just like a gardening journal. Like a, exactly what it says. But it's got nifty little Victorian style pictures next to the journaling pages. So this is going to be fun to look through. I really like that. It's got like the seed packets across the bottom. I like that. If only we knew back in the day to save this kind of stuff. If we only knew people. I think of how many seed packets I could have saved if I would have started saving them as a kid. How cute those would have been in a journal. I didn't think about it though. And if you don't know what, this is the Edith Holden. If you don't know what the Country Diary of an Edwardian Lady is, it's a very popular book. And there's a lot of crafters that take this apart and add it in their journals because of the way it's written in the images. This book is absolutely stunning. And it is a lot of fun to read. But... They're getting pricey because people know that crafters want them so that the prices are being jacked up on this book. But I've been getting them for pretty fair prices where I've been finding them. Because I know some people will tell you, you know, they don't look, they look at a couple places when they Google and they think that it's that cost everywhere and it isn't. They'll say, oh, it's $90 or you can't get it under me. Yeah, you can. You just got to know where to look. got to research people you can never assume that you're not going to get something cheaper until you've actually researched it in many places and sometimes it just doesn't come up in Google because you got to realize the Google spots people pay for them so there's a lot of smaller bookstores and places that you can look for this and it's a lot cheaper but you got to you got to Google it by the store name because some people don't want to pay the price to be on top. This is her little card. I love how she does her cards differently. Isn't that cute? Your paper you pick is really cool too. So there's her paper. Ghost in the Attic. And she has 
is. Thank you, Tammy, for your help. I moderated for her, too. You're the best. You're the best, too, Melissa. Look how cute. I'll mod for you guys anytime you need a moderator. And then she sent me some coconut lavender almonds. Now, me and my husband are not much for almonds, but we do have a family member that loves almonds, so this will be a nice little gift to that person. We're not coconut nut eaters. Now, he might eat a Snickers, but that's about the extent. He likes certain, like, cashews and pistachios, but he's not much of a nut person. And I fell in love with this. I think this is just absolutely gorgeous. This would be so cool. I don't know why I thought this hung on a side. <laughs> it's actually, I only thought it had one leg, but it's got three where it sits. And it's a nice little jewelry container. And I think this is so pretty. And it might end up being a gift for someone because I have a family member with a birthday coming up. But I think that is stunning. It's something I think she would like. And then there's this. I think this is so pretty. It's a little metal dish. Look at how cute that is. And it's got a... Oh. <laughs> Why can't I ever think of stuff when I'm doing a recording? A bridge. Covered bridge. <gasps> that is so gorgeous. Etched into that. And it's another little trinket. Like, you know, at the end of the day, you have this sitting on your bathroom sink or your dresser. And you want to place to just lay your jewelry, like your earrings and rings. You just set it on top of that and you grab them when you need them. I think that is so stinking cute. I love it. Both of these are cute. So with that, that was my haul for today. Thank you from Melissa and Todd for finding such cute items. And with that... Whatever time zone you're in, I hope you're having a great win, and I will see you soon. Bye!